All right, guys, welcome to the video. I'm SK. Today, we're going to be doing some virtual crate digging and flipping some samples. So the service I'm going to use to find samples is called Tracklib. Now, after just a few minutes of digging, I came across this track. It's called Turco by Frank Dukes, aka Ginge. Really like the pianos in this. Something I really like about Tracklib is how many of the tracks actually have stems. So, for instance, for this, I can download just the drums, download the piano. Download this piano too. I'll take this Rhodes as well. I don't think I'm going to use the bass, but I'm just going to download it just in case. Now, it's quite important that when you pull the stems in, you make sure it's got the tempo here. Now, we know it's 77 BPM because that's what Tracklib tells us. However, when I first imported them into Ableton, it said it was like 61.5. Here's what we have at the moment. Obviously, this is about 84 BPM. I don't want to use them all as they are because that would be kind of pointless. So I'm just going to start with the piano. Now, my favorite plugin for chopping samples is Serato Sample. Just going to grab the piano from here and just drag it in. Now, one of the nice things about Serato Sample is you can just hit this Find Sample button. This will just come up with options on its own that it's found. It doesn't always work, but sometimes you can come up with different combinations that you wouldn't normally find. However, with this sample, as I know what I want to do, I'm just going to hit Set Slicer. Now, as you can see, it's not actually starting from the start of the sample. I'm just going to hit Grid. I'm just going to rewind it to there, hit save. I'm just going to hit set slicer again. So I think for this beat, I want the chops to go something like this. I'm going to record that in and then I'll figure out the fourth bar for some variation after. Let's just quantize these. Press legato as well to make sure they're all stretched out. Now I can hear a little bit of stuttering on the samples here. So I'm just going to make sure Serato's got the tempo set correctly. But to correct that, we can just hit sync. And then we can just make sure it's set here at 77. Just want to bring the tempo up a little bit actually. Maybe we can just add a repeat on the second one as well. Let's have a play with the pitch. I can do this right in Serato sample. Unfortunately, its key detection doesn't always work. We know these are in C minor and it's telling me it's in F. However, if we know it's in C minor and we detune it by say three, we can then do the maths and know it drops down to E minor. Let's just start with three. Maybe try going up. Next, we just need to figure out some chops for this end section here. Maybe keep these two so it's repetitive still. We'll just try these two here at the end. Now, I know the chops aren't perfect yet, but we're not quite done. So let's select all, just time stretch them. Try maybe slowing them down by half. Maybe change these end ones actually. Now let's try putting half time on them. Maybe setting the loop to quarter. Got a real nice grimy kind of mob deep kind of vibe. I think I'd just like to play with the pitch again though in here. I think I prefer this here at plus six. Take out some of this low frequency mod. Make it feel a little bit more retro. We can add some RC20. Bring the noise down a bit. I'm just going to see how they sound with the original drum track. I really like the sounds of these drums, but I don't necessarily want this pattern, so we're just going to chop them up and put them into a drum rack. We can just split this first kick drum here, pull this in, then we can just grab this snare here as well, split that. So just this slightly so it doesn't have that symbol in it. Just going to split this kick drum out as well, because it's nice to have some variation, make it sound a little bit more realistic. Just adjust this slightly as well, so it's a little bit tighter. I want to take this symbol here as well, pull that in, and then let's just adjust it so it's at the correct transient. I just really want this kind of hit here. I think for the rest of the drums, we'll just add our own. However, I might take this drum fill here. Just add that in later somewhere, maybe on a transition section. Rename them so they're a bit easier to use. Add some of these symbols as well. Keep it really simple with these. Let's 
Need to refine this a little bit more. Needs this attack here at the start, I think. Next step is to layer them with some of our own drums. Now for this, I'm gonna use the Keep It 500 kit. Free kit, the link is in the description down below. I'm gonna use this Shogun hi-hat and a really simple kind of pattern. Randomize these a bit. Let's also hit Humanize. I think I'm just gonna back that up with the Apex hi-hat as well. We're on a simple kind of pattern like this. the kicks up with this ember kick so they slam a bit more. I'm just going to use this ignite snare. I'm going to put in this ember crash as well, it's kind of a go-to of mine. I'm going to put in this catalyst open hat as well. Any other percussion I really want to add to this is a ride cymbal. And some of the percussion just a little bit. So using the drum break initially got us the tone that we wanted, but I'm just going to shape that a little bit further. I'm just going to insert a return track. And on that return track, I'm just going to add some dirt from Native Instruments. I'm just going to set it to SP12-ish, hit the volume all the way down and just blend it back in. Might help if I send the drums there first though. I don't want too much of it, just a little bit. As you can hear the difference. Let's see if we can flip some of the other tracks that we got with it as well. Just pull this second piano into Serato Sample. Make sure we got the tempo set correctly in here as well. Need to make sure we go up six as well. Once again, we just got to make sure that it goes from the start of the sample. I think maybe we could select them all and time stretch them like we did with the other ones. So I have an idea. I'm just going to lay a pattern of these over the top. Next, let's see what we can do with this Rhodes. And we know we want to go up by six. Once again, I'm just going to set the slicer. Make sure we sync the BPM to 77. Okay, so I think I've got an idea. It's going to go something like this. Make sure all of these are quantized. I think this last note here is better, actually. Bring the volume down on it a bit. At the baseline next. Let's fix up some of these notes. Randomize it by a bit. Could even use the trusty old dub bass. Is kind of vibe that I was going for. I think in the verse sections, I'll probably simplify that bass line, just have that in the chorus. Right, I'm going to go structure the beat out now, add transitions, etc. If you enjoyed this cook up and you haven't subscribed, you can do that just down below. Till next time, I've been SK. Peace. It's a simple